Let's see the box. Hello and welcome to another video from Daniel Amaze at Furball Gaming. In this video we are going to be taking a look and seeing what's in the box. Right here. This is a game I backed on Kickstarter in March last year. And it raised almost 34,000 Canadian dollars, which is about £20,000. Um, I've been tracking the parcels since I received the notification, which I think was Monday. It arrived today, which is the 1st of March, which is also the fulfilment date that the company predicted that the games would be released. Now, I think this is one of the first games that I've backed on Kickstarter that has actually met its fulfilment date ahead of time, which I think is pretty cool. I think I'm also one of the first to receive the game, which again is super cool, because normally I'm halfway down the list. Um, the game is by a company called I Will Never Grow Up Gaming. For starters, I think that is an awesome name, because let's face it, none of us really want to grow up really, so we can all relate to this company name. The game is... A semi cooperative tile laying, dice rolling, exploration game of space piracy for one to four players. Now, try saying that ten times. It is, it can expand to five to six players, but you do need one of the expansions, which is hopefully in the box. So, without further ado, let's dig in and see what's in the box. I've got my trusty knife, got the Maisie watching over me, so I'll make sure they do this right. Very carefully cut. So I'm opening it from the bottom. There we go. Okay. So, just a little bit of tape here. And a little bit more over here. Let's put the, way, put the knife away before I end up stabbing myself. Okay. Ooh. So, this is the first expansion. Nope, this is the main game. Ooh. So this is the main game, Into the Black. And in the box we have the Epic Encounters. Then we have something else, which is the Increased Crew Expansion. And just to make sure there's nothing else in the box. Nope, that is not. Hello and welcome to another video from Dan and Maisie of Furball Gaming. Thank you for taking the time to watch the unboxing video of Into the... Hello and welcome to another video from Dan and Maisie at Furball Gaming. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the components of Into the Black, the boarding party and the expansions. If you missed my unboxing video you can see a link to it in the description or alternatively you can see this 15 second clip now. So Into the Black is a game that has been designed by James J. Campbell and produced by I Will Never Grow Up Gaming. The game is a semi-co-op, tile laying, dice rolling, exploration game. Of... <sighs> Hello and welcome to another video from Dan and Maisie at Furball Gaming. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the components of Into the Black Boarding Party and the expansions associated with it. If you happen to miss my unboxing video the link is in the description however here's a 15 second recap. So the game is by James J Campbell and produced by Our Will Never Grow Up Gaming. The game is a semi-co-op tile laying dice rolling exploration game of space piracy for one to four players and with the expansion it takes it to five to six players. 
Okay, and that's pretty much the catch-up. So let's take a look and have a deeper look at what's in the box. So we've got the base game here, we've got the Epic Encounters expansion, and we've also got the increased crew expansion here as well. So what we're going to do is pop these to the side, or pop that one to the side as I'm sitting here. There we go, and we're going to take a look and see what's in the box. Okay, so that's the lid. The all important instructions. Let's face it, with it being a brand new game from Kickstarter, there's probably not that many videos out there at the moment. So next up we have the the room tiles and the character some of the characters and some of the tokens that are used in the game. So the tiles, oh they come up they come apart really nicely. I mean there's a little bit of give there. A little bit of give, a little bit of stickiness but they come off really well. So yeah, uh, some bit more bits and pieces. Um, so these are the rooms. These are the corridors. Some more characters, some more tokens. Yeah, those are all the token boards. Now sometimes I'd like to try and put them together and see if I can punch them all out together like that. Especially if they're all in the line, it just makes things a little bit quicker. Look at that. That's how easy these things come off. Um, well, I say easy. That's how easy some of them came out. There we go. I know people are probably screaming at me going, Why would you do such a thing? But the truth is, it's easier. There we go. And some more. And more. Ah, that one's stuck. Okay. Time to... There we go. Now where I've done it, the cardboard's kind of become really weak. There we go. So we have the rooms. Uh, corridors and rooms. Probably should have done those separately. But there we go. Um, I've been looking forward to this game since it came on to Kickstarter. Um, I really love the the whole dungeon explore, you get to the edge of a corridor, you don't know what you're going to get next, and also the encounters that go with it. Um, I, I absolutely love that. Um, I think it's a brilliant mechanic, and if done correctly, it really makes a game a game. Um, I like the original Doom game, I absolutely love Manchester to Madness, although the wife's more of a fan than I am. Um, Betrayal at House on the Haunted Hill, I really like that game. Again, you've got the tile laying element, you've got the betrayal element, and I think that is just absolutely brilliant. Um, I There's a lot of things I don't like about those games. For instance, Mansion Madness, I kind of feel it's a little bit samey. As in, you can't, once you've played it a few times, there's, that's it. Uh, same with Betrayal, once you've done the few missions there are, it's a little bit too random and sometimes the encounters don't really make sense um, but with this I really like the theme it's set in space it's one of my favorite mediums um, I love anything with sci-fi so to me this really pulled at my strings and then the wife she really absolutely loves betrayal and mansion madness so for her this could be a good fun game as well. Uh, Maisie's kindly sitting there doing nothing really. So there's uh, some more of the tokens. They all seem to be coming up off quite nicely. They're all quite a good thickness. Um, a couple of them got stuck there. There we go. Look at that. Nice and easy. Meeple tokens. So, yeah. And almost that. Doo -doo. Okay. I will just put all the tokens in one thing and then I'll sort them out. Magically, they will all appear nicely in these boxes. Now, 
Thankfully, none of these tokens seem to be tearing, which is really nice because I'm not exactly doing this. And maybe it's just sitting there. La -da 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 -da. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, my favourite room the gun turret. Yeah. Okay. So, last few tokens for this game. There we go. One of the things I have noticed that I would have preferred that a lot of these tokens are single sided. I would have preferred them to be double sided so you have the thing on the same side. Um, it's, it's not a big put off but it would have been nice. Yeah. Next up we have the meeples. You got four, four of them. Don't There we go. Next up we've got the bad guys. And we've got the the stands for the standees. Then we have the dice. Okay, so the dice are all they're all really nice dice. They're really shiny as you can see. They roll really nicely. these ones so those are if I remember rightly those are hits those are crits or it might be the other way around I cannot remember that off the top of my head and yeah and depending on what enemy you pull I think it is you get to roll a specific a specific dice you then have a dice bag which all of these guys go in and then you have some action cubes. And everything is nicely bagged, um, which I absolutely love. Um, anything that comes with bags is great. And then we've got the apprehension track. We've got the quick reference, uh, if I get a second. We've got the apprehension track, we've got the morale track, and a quick reference for everybody. There's only one of those. Um, I think I would have liked like a quick reference for each player. But I suppose if you've got this in the middle of the board somewhere, yeah. Um, that's yeah. These are yeah. Those are quite nice, and they're quite. I want to say they're thick paper, like almost, they're not quite card card, but they're very, very thick paper, of very, very thin card, whichever way around you want to look at it. Um, next up you've got the, these are the player boards. Now there should be one of these for each of the standees. Look. So we have, we have the turncoat. We have the Ally of the Ally of Convenience, the Bounty Hunter, the Able-bodied so I'd say that, the Stowaway, the Mechanic, the Mascot, the Henchman, the Gunner, Navigator, Sailing, and the Captain, Ship's Mate, Boat, Boatswoman, Boatswain, Surgeon, and the Quartermaster. So yeah, that's that lot. Next up is the cards. Okay, I can never get into these cards. They're, uh, where's the thing? They normally have a quick, quick race. Oh, there we go. I can never find that normally. So the cards are quite thick. Um, these are the events cards. Um, I will probably end up sleeving most of these cards. I just wonder if they'll still fit. Where's that? Right. 
Then we have the... These are the personal goals. So each player will have a personal goal, which is dealt out randomly. Okay. And then we have the primary mission. So this is the main mission that you need to complete. Um, I won't read those out just in case of spoilers. Because uh, if, if you're like me, sometimes you just want to play the game and not know what's going to happen. Um, ooh. I really like the artwork on this. It's quite simple, yet really effective. Uh, next up, we have the loot cards. Now, these are sealed even tighter. There we go. It's nice slap on the side. There we go. Look at that. It's all in alphabetical order by the looks. No, it looks like it's, it's not in alphabetical order, but it is in A order. So you're probably going to have to give those a really good shuffle. Um, they kind of feel a little bit bigger than FFG cards. Or FFG. The, the small sleeves, um, so I don't know if I'll have any sleeves that will fit those. Then we have some more loot cards, I believe. And, and I cannot find the track on this. Oh, there it is. Oh, come on. Dang it. So despite the fact that my nails are a little bit longer than they should be... Um, yeah, uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this. I've been... Ah, there we go. I was hoping to play this tonight because I had a gaming night earlier. So I think this will be for the next gaming night. And some more, so plenty of loot, as they say. Okay, and yeah, so with the wave of my magic wand, three, two, one, ding! Okay, and there we go. That's some awesome magic wand I've got, isn't it? I mean, it's, I click my fingers and everything appears like this. So, um, okay, so next up, I am going to take a look at the... Epic Encounters expansion. So let's. Uh, it's a little bit tight to get. Oh. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's pop up that. So we've got the rules reference sheet, which always comes in handy. We got some more meeples. We have a loot deck, and we have some more tokens. And then we have some more cards and some stickers. There's not much in this one, which is nice. Uh, put that there. Move that out of the way for a second. Okay. So then we've got the token. Again, these are even easier to punch out. I mean, look at that. Yeah, they come out quite nicely. I mean, yeah, that's... I mean, yeah, that is really nice. So this is an expansion pack. It holds some extra cards, some extra encounters some extra loot, um, and some extra meeples. There we go. And that's that one. We have the other ones. Then we've got the, the ugh, needle. I don't like needles. Needles are not my favorite thing in the world. Okay, so let's have a look at these. Again, these are a different loot deck to the other ones. Um, 
and these will help with yourselves. And there we go, one more there, one, two, three, four. And then we have the meeples. Nice purple ones actually. I think I quite like I quite like the different style of meeples. Like I play a lot of games, like way too many games. But let's face it, you can never play too many games. Um, yeah. And like meeples come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. For a long time I thought meeples only came in this kind of shape, but then my eyes were greatly opened. And I really do like the car the uh, which was it? This one. The dual wielding pistol. Yeah, I really like that one. And then we have the the extra crew. Okay, no magic wand required this time. So yeah, that is the Epic Encounters expansion pack. Okay, and finally, we're going to be taking a look at the the increased crew expansion. Oops. Pop that back up again. There we go. Okay, so unfortunately, the looks like the box took a little bit of damage during transit, but nothing. Nothing that can't be sorted out. Okay. So in here we've got another rules reference. We've got... Now this is a new starting layout. Try and do this one handed. It's not really working. What was there? Okay. So in this one we have some more health tokens. I'm not going to punch those out because I think I've got plenty at the moment. Some more cubes. Again, there we go. And then we have some more primary missions. So these will add to the deck I've got at the moment and we'll just add some extra primary missions and also some personal goals I saw in there. Uh, let's have a quick look. There we go. So we got four of each. So yeah. And then we have the meeples and the two character meeples. There we go. Look at that lot. So we got an orange guy. And we've got a pink girl, or a guy, can't quite tell, it's got a ponytail. Um, so yeah, that is, that is everything for Into the Black, the boarding party, um, the base game, the increased crew expansion, and the epic encounters. Um, I'm, I am really looking forward to playing this game. Um, I'm hopefully going to try and get a play of it tomorrow. Um, and then I'll be uploading another video in a few days. Um, which will be the setup and how to play video. Um, and then hopefully I'll also be able to do a playthrough video as well. So from Daniel and Maisie at Furball Gaming. Thank you for taking the time to watch the unboxing video of Into the Black the Boarding Party. Please check the comment section for links to the game, the publisher's website and the Board Game Geek site as well. If you did like the video please like, subscribe and share. And also please leave a comment because I'm always interested to hear what you guys think. Especially as I'm very new at this. And if you would like to stay up to date with any new content that I may be producing. Um, then please, please, please click on the bell. Um, until next time, happy gaming!